What is going on you guys? Chachi come back at you with another video today Rocking out some grand challenges using the no candy only Wi-Fi deck if you're watching candy I love you. Thanks for the deck out there. He just qualified for the Red Bull MEO using this deck here uh, It's a giant graveyard deck and I'm gonna be teaching you guys some of the secrets hopefully on it And it is a really fun deck and let's go ahead and head right into the first game Alrighty, so here we go into our first game versus Javi 91 so first things first Good opening plays. There's always a bowler in the back, Mega Man in the back, or Zappin on the tower. Other than that, you can just arrows. Um, I would really like to have Giant and Mega Minion right now, but it doesn't seem like I do. Let's see. Okay, so it is my next card, so we're actually just going to go ahead and just cycle. Uh, we'll see what we can do over here. And we do have Zap and arrows, and arrows right now is super good in the meta. Um, so we're just chilling with just about anything he does right now. All right, we can just go ahead and go Inferno Dragon. Probably shouldn't have. Until I for sure knew that Mega Man was going to uh, kill that Mini P.E.K.K.A. Which it looks like that Mini P.E.K.K.A. may get one shot here. If it does, it's all good. If not, we're about to get a huge push here. So Graveyard's going to come down here. Hopefully this Bowler tanks for it. Doesn't look like it does. Just barely it doesn't, but that's okay with us. Uh, we'll just go ahead and zap this a uh, Bat Swarm that just popped out from this uh, Night Witch. And there we go. He's going to have to NATO there, which at this point... We have so much elixir ahead on this guy. It's insane, especially with that uh, little Mega Minion. All we have to really do is just Ice Spirit. It'll take care of that. And then we can go Giant Mega Minion the other lane or the same lane, whatever we decide to do. So I think we're actually going to just hit him with a Giant Mega Minion. Uh, normally, you want to wait till you have to pressure, but we'll just keep the pressure up. He is going to Mini P.E.K.K.A. in that. I for forgot, bleh, forgot about the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So we're not going to really get any damage there. So that's kind of a waste of a uh, big elixir advantage for us. Um, if he does happen to Golem here, we can just go Bowler with the Graveyard just to keep that pressure up. If he doesn't, uh, then he a crazy boy. But we're going to go Semi-High Bowler because we figured we were relatively even, which we were. Uh, so we're just going to go with that Bowler, and then we're going to hit him with the Graveyard again. And hopefully he doesn't have enough Elixir to defend it all. Uh, so here we go with the Graveyard. Bowler will tank this time. So the Valkyrie is not going to get as much value as last time, which is good. Uh, look at all that damage right now. Already taking it down to under triple digits. Double. Oh, the bowler one shot. Come on. Oh, man. That was close. All right. That was pretty close. Not going to lie. Uh, let's just go ahead and zap this. So that way our bowler can hopefully just knock it back a little bit. Thank you for that. He actually helped us out a lot there. Um, and now that we got that all working with. Oh, we can actually just kill this. Um, arrows will kill that tower. We're going to keep this tower alive normally. You don't really care if a tower is alive or not. So we're going to go ahead and just go graveyard with the giant. Hopefully be able to get the job done. And we should be chilling with the giant. The graveyard push. We should be able to get two towers here. We'll just go ahead and send the arrows. And that will be GG. So first game already in the bag. Um, this stack is insane right now because of how good arrows are. And everybody using all this other stuff. Wow, the prediction NATO there, Kappa. Uh, but anyways, we'll see you boys in the next game. Alrighty, so here we go into our next game versus Mick Zombie from Night Outlaws. Uh, again, we're just going to go Mega Minion in the back. Remember, Mega Minion, Bowler, Ice Spirit, Zap, something like that in the back is always a good play there. Um, we're going to still play pretty passively until we figure out what he's playing. I don't really have anything in my hand, so we're just going to Arrows uh, at this point. We'll see what we can do. We'll just zap this so we don't take the damage. Uh, and he's going to send in that, so we're just going to go Bowler, and then hopefully... Uh, we're going to have to wait until that... Oh, with it... What? That didn't hit it. Okay, I'm really bad. That bowler was supposed to hit the ma uh, the musketeer as well as all that other stuff. But that's okay. 900 HP on our tower there. It's not the best start, but still, uh, it's going to be a good show off of uh, the two tower game. So now we know he's using RG, so that's nice. But anyways, uh, I think we're just going to go Ice Spirit in the back here. Just chill it, send it on out there. He's going to go ahead and do his thing. And then I feel like he doesn't have the best graveyard answers uh, with an RG deck unless he has a minion horde or something like that, or minions. But Lumberjack's going to come out. It's not going to do a whole lot. Barbarrel's going to help out as well. But that giant is going to get a lot of damage. Yes, we are going to take some fire spirit damage there. But still, look at the damage that we're doing right now. Absolute insanity. Well, let's go ahead and go Bowler over here. Bowler will hopefully pull one of those fire spirits. No, it didn't. Okay. It's fine. He should be able to kill everything over there, though. Um, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to save this lane. Just go ahead and just arrows it, I guess, at this point. So that way he doesn't spawn the fire spirits. Plus, he'll have to answer the bowler or he'll take out the tower. Which, 
It is Graveyard. I wouldn't be surprised if he would have just let that tower go. But Giant Graveyard actually doesn't matter a whole lot if uh, you take a tower because then you have the King Tower after, after that. So um, let's go ahead and go boom. Ice Spirit to tank one wave and then I'll tank the other wave. That's uh, a pretty nice positive elixir trade there. So um, let's just go ahead and go Mega Minion in the back here. He'll chill. Uh, we're going to let him think he's got it defended, but actually go with that. Uh, he's going to go with the lightning over there and look at that damage over on that side. We're just going to go giant graveyard. This is very, very aggressive, but we don't care a whole lot. Uh, we just really want to take out his tower at this point. Uh, Ice Spirit will die. Everything else will die as well. That's completely fine. Um, as long as we get the tower down, we're good with anything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go Inferno Dragon semi-high here. Um, we'll see what he does. Wow. That is unfortunate for this man. Normally, you'd like to go graveyard a little earlier um, once the giant goes down, but it's all good. Um, let's get ready with a zap here for something that we already know he's going to play, but he's not going to play it. And that will do it. GG's well played, sir. Good game. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see right in the third game. Alrighty, so our next opponent, SJ Yale from Siempre Juntos. Juntos. Alright, we'll go Ice Spirit on the bridge here, and then we're going to go Mega Minion in the back right afterwards. Um, Ice Spirit, not going to quite get to the tower. So he is using the new Firework uh, Girl, Firework Rocket Man, Rocket Girl, whatever you want to call it. We're not going to be able to activate the King Tower here, so we're just going to go with the Bowler up front, so that way it kills it, because otherwise... Uh, she just jukes him and takes him out the whole way, which is really annoying, like you just saw there. That's fine. Um, <laughs> we're just going to have to reset. He's going to go ahead and get that Bomb Tower down. So Bomb Tower, Rocket, Ice Wiz. Could be a Graveyard deck. Um, well, I guess it is not a Graveyard deck. We are going to have to waste our arrows here, which kind of sucks. Because I don't want that Inferno Dragon to wait too long to heat up. I really want it to kill that RG before I can get like a lot of shots on my tower, obviously. Um, so Inferno Dragon cleans up that. Not too bad. Again, if he starts to slow roll again, oh, those good skellies there. Pulls him in the bomb. That's fine. Let's just go with a uh, bowler in the same lane as him in the back. Bowler's really hard just to stop. We need to cycle somehow back to our arrows because we already know he's going to be hitting us with that firework girl any moment. Rocketeer. I don't even remember the name. Honestly, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> but she's crazy OP. Uh, not really at all, but she's just really annoying to go against. But anyways, uh, that's going to be a bad NATO by this man. We're going to go ahead and just be able to get our bowler and everything else coming into town. Going to hit him with that. Let's hit him with a graveyard here because by the time the tower reloads, it'll be locked onto the bowler. And we're going to be able to get a ton of damage here. The rocket girl does clean up a lot. Um, the firework girl is still pretty broken. All right. We're going to use our mega minion to get a free king tower activation. It won't help us out in this matchup very much. Um, okay, never mind. Now we're not going to be able to. So that's unfortunate. But we are going to be able to get this bowler, hopefully, to smack this girl. It does. Uh, so now we got to go with another Mega Minion here. And hopefully we'll get enough for this giant. I doubt it, though. No, we won't. Um, so that kind of sucks. But we will be able to get a Graveyard down here momentarily, which will be nice. Uh, he's going to hit us with a NATO there. That's fine. We got arrows ready for this Rocket Girl in the back. No, she's going to juke us, isn't she? No, she juked us again. No. Okay. But we do take out the tower, which is the most important part. Uh, we'll just go ahead and zap Rocket Girl. We'll go with that Inferno Dragon. We'll go with the Ice Spirit up here. And Bowler is helping out. And unless he has a Lightning, no way he's going to be able to do anything. Tornado was not enough. And now we can hit him with the King Tower Graveyard. This is one of my favorite plays in all of Clash Royale. You hit him with that King Tower Graveyard. He has to defend it. Hit him with the arrows back there. Boom, boom, boom. Arrows come down. Throne Dragon on the King Tower. He's forced to NATO it away, but that's not going to be enough. Skelly's on the tower. That's going to be GG. Boom. Take it out. Game number three. We'll see it in the fourth and final one of the day. All righty, guys. So here we go. Last game, FBP. All right, this is the worst starting hand you can ever get, so we're just going to send in the arrows, and we're going to go Inferno Dragon for this miner because we really don't have anything else. Didn't want to just zap it because that's really not going to do a whole lot. But now, uh, he does have miner, so unless he's using, like, a P.E.K.K.A. miner or something like that, um, the Inferno Dragon was fine, but if he was, that would kind of suck, but that's okay. Um, so Inferno Dragon will die to the Ice Wiz plus the tower and the goblins. Um, let's go with the Mega Mini back here. And then I think we're just going to go with a fat big boy bowler. Bowling. Pew. Push it all back. Nice. 
goes arrows onto her. We always have to put it a little further than what she's normally used to. And Bowler and Mega Minion will go ahead and get a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. Um, we're going to just eat that and go in with a graveyard with the giant, okay? The, you have to have faith in me right here, right now, okay? So, you got to go like... Hubda, hubda. Graveyard, go. Do -do -do. And now we take his tower. So that is always nice. Oh, jeez. He has goblins. I forgot about that. Huh! We didn't mean to hit the tower there because it resets it, but that's the only way we're going to get any damage. So, had to. We will even things up, but at this point, was it worth it? Meh. It was okay. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. Uh, so we're going to have to hit him with a pack of arrows. Does arrows kill wall breakers? They do. Okay, so arrows do kill wall breakers. I didn't know that interaction, but I guess I know. That makes sense because log barely almost doesn't, or barely doesn't kill them. So arrows does a little more damage than it should. Okay. All right, now we're chilling. Let's just go ahead and throw an ice spread at the bridge because YOLO. Um, <laughs> YOLO. YOLO. Throw it back to 2016 or whenever that was uh, used a lot. But anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and go with a, a giant to tank. We'll just go giant mega minion. Boom. Uh, I feel like that Mega Minion may. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, that's a firework. I thought that was an Ice Whiz. Lol. Okay, that's fine, though. Uh, we'll hit him with an Ice Spirit for this guy, though. That's fine. How did he cycle that quickly? I don't know. Wow. Insanity coming out right now, boys. All right. So we go Inferno Dragon up here. Has to clean up this guy. And then hopefully, hopefully, we just hit him with this. Now we're chilling again. Big chilling. Oh, wait, we gotta go giant graveyard. And now this is good game because he has to use goblins. The goblins and everything will die to those arrows. So the arrows clean it all out. We got 76 HP. All we need is one skelly hit. There we go, nine. And that is gonna do it, guys. Appreciate you watching to the very end of the episode. I am back. We're ready to grind out some videos so make sure you subscribe to the video if you haven't already and uh yeah i'll, I'll put it in the chat right there boom subscribe i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching very good